It is possible in Scratch to create more complex animations. So if you look at what I've created here, I've created a simple um, head and torso, but I've broken down the arms into separate jointed pieces. So I've got upper left arm, lower left arm, upper right arm, lower right arm, left eye, right eye, mouth, and another hidden sprite. And I've hidden all those at the moment, but there's some key things to think about. I haven't created them all in one go, the sprite all in one go, because I want to animate just the forearm, for example. And there's some key things to think about when you're creating these sprites. So we'll start with the simplest animation we're going to do first of all, which is to make this arm pivot about the elbow. So let's have a look at the lower right sprite that I've created. And I want to click on the costume here. And there's an important point to note about the point of turn. So in the center of every sp um, sprite that you make, there is this um, crosshair here and that is the center of the sprite and that is the center around which the whole sprite will turn and so when you ordinarily make a sprite you probably want the center of the sprite to turn around the center of the um, the entire um, background and so you normally line up the sprite center here with the center of the the background and that's that will be the turning point but in this case we want the pivot point to be the elbow so I'm going to make sure the pivot point sits at the elbow the whole object will pivot at the elbow so if we look on uh, left lower over here and I click on the direction function here you'll see how it pivots around the um, elbow and not the center so that's what it's a giving the impression of a joint so that's the first thing to note when you're creating your sprites. Make sure, if you want to animate them, that you break them down into the component parts that are going to be um, animated.